Good afternoon, friends and comrades. I'm going to be reading a portion of a speech that I'm preparing for the first club meeting at UNF for Hands Off Venezuela. And in the speech, I mentioned Alex Saab. I mentioned the vicious criminal sanctions against the Venezuelan population. You see a poster of Alex Saab up here. He's one of my heroes. And we need to uh, continue to add pressure on the government to release all political prisoners of the U.S. empire. So I'm going to go ahead in just a moment and, and go into reading a portion of that speech, which will be read at our first club meeting at UNF at the Gandhi statue this Friday. Open to the public. We are here today before the statue of a great man, none other than Mahatma Gandhi, to form something new on our campus, an educational group that seeks to make young Americans aware of the plight of the, four, of the third world and how our own government, which MLK called the greatest purveyor of violence in the world, has caused hundreds of thousands of people throughout the world these past few years through the economic terroristic methods known as sanctions to die. We must be for truth and in the words of Gandhi, be the change we want to see in the world. One country that has particularly suffered from said methods and which I had the honor to visit late last year as a witness to the regional elections along with 500 other internationals is Venezuela. The UN recently said in Venezuela alone, a country of only 28 million, 100,000 people have been killed by us with our tax dollars to the ignorance and shock of many of us. Venezuela, a nation in northern South America facing the Caribbean Sea of great importance historically, especially for being the birthplace of Simón Bolivar, who led the liberation of Latin America against the Spanish Empire in the early 1800s. Venezuela has the number one oil reserve in the world. Why do its people not benefit from this vast oil supply economically these past few years? Because Washington insists on installing a puppet regime to give us cheap oil. Washington, whether led by Republicans or Democrats, does not respect the democratic system of Venezuela I witnessed, which in many ways is better than ours. And in his imperial arrogance and greed, Biden continues the Trump policies of economic strangulation of the Venezuelan population at the behest of the fossil fuel industry. And it goes from there. But, uh, you know, when I was in Venezuela, I had the honor uh, to go to the statue of Simón Bolivar, the liberator. And uh, it was a very inspirational trip. And um, I think this club is going to be a great way uh, to educate uh, the students on the truth. Uh, what else? I mean, I don't think it's an exaggeration, uh, you know, to uh, call it terrorism, uh, what's being done to the, the Venezuelan people, and they're rising above. Um, so thank you, friends and comrades, and uh, I'll be updating you of how the meeting goes this Friday. Uh, we may have some opposition on campus, but we have to rise above. Thank you.